start with Justin Andrews live at the Pleasant Hill BART station checking on the impact to that morning commute from the derailment. Justin. Yeah. Yeah, good morning, Lynn and Amanda. Bart is telling us it's using single, using a single track through this area. We're also learning this morning that heat played a major role in yesterday's partial train derailment. I want to go live out right now to photojournalist Brian Kiley. He's giving us these live images here. I want you to look at your screen. This is the site of yesterday's partial derailment. And this live video appears to show part of the train that jumped the tracks may still be out there along with crews and equipment to really just help clear and repair the tracks. We're also seeing possibly some concrete ties being stacked up. Mind you, this all happened yesterday evening and now 12 hours later, crews are still continuing continuing their work at this site. It's even at this six o'clock hour. I want to go uh, right now to video from yesterday. Now this was in the evening around 530 when this 10 car train was headed to San Francisco against the busy commute. The hot weather yesterday caused the track to curve, forcing the train to jump the tracks in Concord. And there were small fires that broke out. About 50 people were on board and had to quickly get out. Confire says minor injuries were reported. Here's a BART spokesperson on yesterday telling us what went down. We know that the last two train cars of a legacy train, that means one of our older trains, are what derailed. So the entire train didn't derail. Now, coming up in about 30 minutes, uh, people who were on board were describing to us what they experienced. It was pretty scary. You'll hear that in the next 30 minutes. But Gianna, you know, obviously they're still working on repairs in that area. This is going to impact some people's morning's commute, especially. Uh, yeah, it certainly is, Justin. And if you do plan on taking BART, make sure you check that schedule before you head out the door. So again, they will be single tracking trains and service in and around Concord and Pleasant Hill in the Antioch and SFO directions. And uh, latest from BART is you can expect about a 15 minute delay, at least in the Antioch and SFO directions due to that track maintenance. Full service, though, will be available on the rest of the yellow line.